Hello, first day here using new camera, so I'm hoping this works. Uh, I'm using my iPhone. Uh, replacing the solar charge controller, the old one died, and I'll show that to you, and I'm replacing it with a really good one inside a weatherproof enclosure, kind of like I was doing it by someone else was paying me. It cost me about 40 bucks extra to put it in the enclosure but I really depend on this thing to work. You know, the batteries are expensive and the like. So let me show you what I've got here. Okay, first of all, I want to show you the old one. This is the old one. And it served well for a couple years, but one thing, it's a strictly on-off type charge regulator. And what I needed was something that would adapt to changing conditions. The new one is pulse width modulated. This does not have temperature compensation in it, so... Um, what you see is what you get. The thing I really don't like is it has a lot of LEDs on it. And all the LEDs running at once just drains the battery. So that was wasteful. So it died. Out of here. It's killing the battery. What I got was a Morningstar unit. And you can just sort of see it in here in the blur. The Morningstar has temperature compensation, which is huge for uh, wet cells, or for batteries in general. That, it, that's just huge, which is why the enclosure is going to be on the north side to keep it in the shade so it actually gets the same temperature that the batteries do. It, it has status indicators one at a time. It doesn't run them all at once. And most importantly, pulse width modulated charging with an algorithm for equalizing, bringing the battery up, checking the battery, and then putting it to a float until nighttime. And also, obviously, most very importantly, it's got a uh, low voltage disconnect. If the battery gets too low, it just turns off the load so you don't destroy the battery. So all of that is bundled up inside of a nice Hubble 3R. It's not Hubble. I forgot who this is. Anyway, it's in a 3R container, weatherproof. It's got a rain shield on the top. Um, it's got weatherproof seals on the bottom. Not so much for weather since they're on the bottom, but I don't want a hornet building a nest in here. I don't want wasps in here. So, you know, that's the plan for that. All of this is going to get mounted on the back side of this rail. And I've got enough clearance with this wire here. I can just squish it. Uh, and that's a ground wire. No big deal. One wire will go up and under and right back into the um, fencer. And the battery sits down here on this pedestal. So that's the skinny. That's my quick project now. I have no way of editing and I have no way of telling of how well this worked. So that's all she spoke. You know, all he spoke. Thanks.